I'm Coach Nolan Stevens. I coach the Woodall Mountain Lookouts in Cotton State's College League, and you are watching Max South Sports. I'm Coach Nolan Stevens. I coach the Woodall Mountain Lookouts. Um, this is my second year in the Cotton State's College League. Um, I'm from Hickory Flat, Mississippi. I started off, um, I, was, I was from Harding Academy in Memphis and uh, my stepdad actually coached at Harding for over 20 years and uh, he led me to Blue Mountain College where I ended up getting a scholarship to. Um, got a scholarship at Blue Mountain uh, and played there for four years. And I knew, I knew when I graduated that I wanted to, I wanted to have an influence and an impact on, on young kids. And I thought that um, coaching was a great way to do it because I love baseball and I love the game and I wanted to be around it. And I knew I wanted to stay in it some way. Um, and I think that's what influenced me was seeing my other coaches um, that I played under uh, influence me. And I wanted to be that influence to some other kid as well. I think the turning point for me was uh, my senior year of college. Um, I think that I had to make a decision what I wanted to do for the rest of my life as far as career choices. And um, I ended up going down the coaching and teaching route. And I knew I wanted to, um, like I said, have an influence on kids' lives. But uh, I also wanted to do something that I enjoyed for the rest of my life as well. So I chose that career path. And I think that was my turning point was that senior year trying to find out what I wanted to do. I've been coaching this team for two years. Um, I, I started off coaching the high school in the high school league. I coached that for four years while I played on the college level. And then uh, when I was through playing, I moved up to the college league to coach. I think my our team attributes as far as um, what performs well on the field is our pitching. Uh, I think our pitching has kept us in every game this year so far. Um, and we've had the opportunity to, to win games because our pitching's been able to go five, six innings. So when, when you're able to use you know one, two pitchers each game, you're saving arms for the weekend and uh, you're giving your hitters opportunity to score runs and keep the game close and uh, give them a chance to win. So I think, I think pitching's helped us out a lot this year. Our biggest challenge this year has been score runs. <laughs> um, I think uh, our pitchers, like I said, have kept us in games, and, and and I could tell that you know the month of July for Cotton State's the playoffs start at the end of the month, and you can tell that there's a little bit of a different mentality going into the month because they had that break in July where uh, they they kind of got a little break from playing. And they played, you know, the first 12 games in June, and then um, they end in July. And I think that uh, that kind of setting in that baseball's almost over for the summer, that mentality's kind of changed, and they're they're starting to step up and, and play a little bit harder than what I think they were in June. So last season um, we we lost in the, I believe it was the second round of playoffs. And uh, we lost to a really, really good pitcher from the Rascals. Um, uh, the score was two to nothing at the end of the game. They put us out in the playoffs. Uh, we had a we had a good run, um, and I do have a few returners on the mound, a couple of returners. Um, and like I said, those pitchers have kept us in the game this year. They kept us in all the games last year too. Uh, and we had we had a lot of different position players, but as far as pitching, we did have three or four that were back from this year. To, uh, last year. So last year um, we had a lot of challenges to overcome because it was that the COVID break and, and the kids hadn't played in a couple months and they hadn't seen a live pitch in a while so it, it was a little bit harder to step into the game and um, hit and field because you hadn't done it for two months and uh, I think that was one of our biggest challenges last year and to have the summer that those guys had was, was great to watch because they got to play the game that they love and they got back in it from being out for so long. I'm Coach Nolan Stevens, I coach the Woodall Mountain Lookouts in Cotton State's College League and you are watching Max South Sports. Leading up to the point that we're at right now, we're, we're six and seven on the year. Um, so we're right around, sitting around that 500. We've kind of, kind of been going back and forth. Uh, we've won a couple series, lost a couple series. The outlook for this year is hopefully we make a run in the playoffs. And that's the plan is to make a run in the playoffs. Um, we've got a couple returners that played on a different team last year. 
um, that that did win the championship last year. So uh, they have that experience of winning the Cotton States Championship. So we're planning on doing the same thing with them this year. So as a whole, our team our teams have been playing well together. Um, but we do have a couple individuals that have kind of shown out um, their skills this summer. Uh, we have one who's actually leading the league in batting average right now. Chris Swanberg's batting uh, 600 before today, so he's he's had a pretty good summer at the plate. Um, he got uh, Player of the Week um, the second week of the season. Uh, one of our one of our pitchers, uh, Peyton Smith, he's a submarine thrower. He started. Um, he started for us today, actually, through all seven innings, gave up three runs. He got pitcher of the week the first week. I believe it was zero earned runs and eight or nine strikeouts. So consistently, those two guys have helped us a lot as far as at the plate and uh, on the mound. Our, um, our infield, our shortstop, he's played every, every game at shortstop. And defensively wise, he's, he's saved us a lot. Um, he's made a lot of great plays, as, as well as our first baseman. He's made a lot of great plays that, that's helped us out this summer. Um, our defense, our outfield is, we have a very, very quick outfield. Not a lot of balls fall in the outfield, and that's helped us as far as, I think that's one of the reasons that our pitchers have given up so few runs, is because of our outfield and, and the advantage that we have with their speed. So, uh, right. Can I make it funny? Oh, please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, talk trash about one of the other coaches. <laughs> I haven't been in it long enough to have a rival. I've only been in it for two years. I don't have a rival yet. These older guys probably have a rival more than I do. They're all my rivals. I want to beat all of them. I wouldn't consider them a rival, but as far as uh, coaching against one another uh, at the 1A level, um, the Mudcats, we want to beat the Mudcats, and we play them in two weeks, so we want to put it on them in a couple weeks. <laughs> uh, our rival probably this year would be the Rascals, um, who we played today. Uh, we're tied one to one with them in a series. Um, play them in a the third game tomorrow. They're the team that put us out last year in the playoffs. So we're we're looking to get them back, and hopefully we get another shot at them in the playoffs, so we can do what they did to us last summer. Last summer was a um, it was that two to zero game. And it was a pitcher's duel until the seventh inning, or sixth inning maybe, and they had a guy come up who hit a two-run home run and made it two to nothing, and kind of, we were kind of expecting to go to the next round of playoffs. Our, all of our guys were expecting to do that, uh, to be in, we were looking to be in the championship. So I think that, that um, little extra urge, they're gonna come out tomorrow trying to win the series. I know they will, so. I'm Coach Brandon Montgomery. I'm Coach Andy Dillard. I'm Coach Greg Bates. This is Coach Jeff King. And you're watching Cotton States Baseball. Matt Val Sports. The ultimate goal for our team this season is um, definitely getting reps and getting better, uh, hoping that they, they increase on anything that they were struggling with during the spring, because that's what summer's about anyway, is, is uh, getting reps and finding out what you were struggling with during the spring and trying to find a way to get better at that. Um, and then also winning the championship as well is obviously if you know we've talked about it as a team you know if we're out here let's go ahead and win while we're out here let's get better but that's our goal is to win every time we're out here as well so I think Cotton States means uh, means a lot to the kids to be able to come out and get it uh, get reps all summer after you get through playing during the spring also I think it's pretty neat that um, you know when you're out here playing on a certain team you're playing against the, the kids that you might have played in, against in the spring in college. So for them to be able to build relationships outside of their school ball is pretty neat and be able to come together and play against each other every weekend. Um, and then to have both fields at the same complex so the games are going on at the same time so you can kind of look back and forth and see what your buddy's doing on the other field and keep up with everybody. So And then the stats as well is cool. Um, it's pretty neat how they do the stats online and you're able to see, keep up with everybody and how they're doing. So, My favorite baseball movie is probably The Sandlot. Uh, you know, the catcher on The Sandlot. I get a lot of comments that I look like the catcher on The Sandlot because of red hair and freckles. So I hear that I hear that very often. Not as much as I, what I used to, but I hear that often. So, that's probably one of my favorite movies. Uh, my favorite 
major league teams probably. I pull for the St. Louis Cardinals if I'm pulling for anybody. So um, close, close by, you know, they're in relation with the Memphis Redbirds, so you can go and watch them. I think uh, what coaching means to me is um, it's more than it's more than the game itself that you're that you're actually coaching. I think you're trying to you know influence kids and influence young men uh, because eventually they're going to be through playing baseball and, and try to be a role model for them and set a set a high standard for them um, so that they can see how you how you carry yourself and they can carry themselves the right way, having a standard. I'm Coach Brandon Montgomery. I'm Coach Andy Dillard. I'm Coach Greg Bates. This is Coach Jeff King. And you're watching Cotton States Baseball on Matt Cloud Sports. Jeff Cook, head coach of Hill Country Generals of the Cotton States Woodbat League. And you, and you, and you are watching Matt South Sports. Sports.